Hello, this is Arlo from Valoi. In this series of videos, I'm going to tell you about the Valoi 360 camera scanning system. So this is our more modular system uh, with more flexibility around camera scanning. The video series is going to take us from talking about what the system actually is, uh, and then we're going to talk, talk about setup, uh, the scanning process itself, and then finally also converting pictures uh, at the end to get a, a final result. This first part, we're going to talk about uh, what the system actually is and a little bit about its uh, modular functionalities. And then uh, I'll discuss quickly about what sort of equipment both you might need from the system, as it is a modular system, but also uh, a little bit about lenses and cameras. So uh, we have two different configurations of the same system sitting on the desk. Uh, one over here and one over here. This is uh, obviously the larger, more fully-fledged, fully-featured uh, system, but the base uh, and the holders are the same and all of the parts are interchangeable. It's part of the 360 scanning system. Um, in addition to that, we have uh, a copy stand, which is also our own uh, product. The camera and lens are obviously mounted on the copy stand and is held above the film holders which you can replace. So here's a film holder with happens to have a scanning mask, has a different size film holder. This one doesn't have a hood but we can also attach a hood to it. The holders are interchangeable so we have two different config configurations but uh, the holders can be moved across. In addition to just moving holders around, uh, here we, as I said, we also have the different modular bases. Let me turn on the lights so you can see what's happening. Um, so if I take off the holder, you can see here that we have a uh, steel base with the light source mounted inside. And on top, uh, we have what we call the holder plate. This gives you a configuration that's uh, a bit more affordable, but still gives you a lot of the same functionality that you get from the larger advancer based system. Um, so if you take off this holder plate on top where the holder fits in, uh, you can instead mount what we call the advancer, which is this uh, block on top. The advancer gives you functionality like um, using a, a roller advance instead of pulling the film through. Um, and you also get uh, height and uh, ex access to extra accessories such as the duster. However, you don't need the advancer. The base, this is equivalent to our current um, enthusiast kit, is gives you essentially the same quality and the same results, um, but adding more parts to it, for example, the advancer, for example, the hood that goes on top, like that, uh, can make your scanning process easier or quicker or do things like remove dust from your film to make the post-processing better and easier. In addition to our two standard holders that cover the 35mm and 120 formats, we also have a set of what we call custom series holders. These are made in lower volume from different materials and with different processes, but are meant to cover as wide a range uh, as possible of other formats. So here we happen to have two 35mm um, formats, one for sprocket, showing the sprockets of the film, and one for uh, showing a longer frame, a panoramic frame. But we also have uh, holders for other formats, such as uh, slide film, uh, mounted slides, and APS 110, other such archive formats that aren't around anymore, but uh, many archives or archiving uh, people with collections would use those. So even though I have final setups here, you can mix and match these different uh, whole, uh, products. They all come individually packaged and you can buy essentially whatever suits you, which is the whole purpose of the system. Now, quickly about cameras and lenses. This is something we get a lot of questions about. Um, here we happen to have a relatively professional uh, modern Sony camera with a professional lens. But that doesn't mean you have to have that kind of equipment. Um, you can get great results from lower resolution sensors and older cameras and also from vintage, for example, vintage macro lenses. Um, generally, we recommend that the higher, the, the larger the format you're scanning. For example, if you're scanning 6x9, you want more resolution than if you're scanning 35mm uh, film. 
for 35 millimeter film something like 12 megapixels might be okay but for 6x9 or 6x6 you would probably want to get a bit more than that unless you're just posting them to social media. Uh, in terms of macro lenses, yes you do the, need a macro lens for scanning film. Uh, normal lenses are first of all not flat field corrected, meaning they're not really able to focus on a flat um, piece of film. They're made for the real world where things aren't flat. Uh, so macro lenses are ideal for these purposes. You can also use an enlarger lens or other kind of reproduction lenses. Your macro lens or reproduction lens does have to focus uh, relatively close. In the case of 35mm film and full frame cameras, for example, you need what we call a one-to-one -one macro. This just means that the medium that the lens is able to focus onto is the same size as the sensor. So if you have a 35mm long frame, you also need to, sorry, a 36mm long frame, you also need to focus um, focus that onto the 36 millimeter sensor. If you have a smaller sensor, you might get away with a, um, for example, in a micro four thirds sensor, you might get away with a lens that only focuses to one to two, so half the real size. Um, the, if you are scanning larger formats, of course, if you're only scanning six by nine, for example, you might not need to focus all that close. So, I hope that gives you a brief overview of what the 360 system is and what kind of advantages you can get from it. In the next part, I'm going to show you more about how the system comes together. As all the parts come separately, you obviously have to assemble them together to a final setup. But we'll walk through the principles on how that is done. So thank you for seeing this part and I hope to see you in the next one.